100%, but I'm feeling better than what I was last week. And my voice is, I think it's, it's very close to normal, so hopefully I'm sounding um, very close to how I usually sound. But I um, wanted to share this Monday moment with you. I missed last Monday moment. And I do not want to miss it again. I'm so glad my throat is feeling better. But I did not want to bring it to you with my throat sounding all scratchy and raggedy. And hoarse, most of all. So I'm still in the Serenity book, Reflections and Scripture on the Serenity Prayer. Okay. When tough times come... Don't let yourself be overwhelmed by sadness and disappointment. Those emotions are typical, but they will not bring relief to your situation. Surrender your emotions to God and rejoice as he brings sunlight in the midst of the storm. Psalm 116 verses 4 through 6. I called on the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearted. When I was in great need, he saved me. Amen. Um, Psalm 42, the 5th through the 6th verse. Why are you downcast, O oh my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. So I just shared that with you. Um, I thank and praise God for all things and everything. I thank and praise God for healing my body. Um, there are so many bereaved families out there. We lost my aunt, that's my father, um, sister. He was close to her, so I'm praying for him as well. Last year, we had several deaths in our family, and this year as well. And it's not easy, it's not easy. And um, when a person passes, they mean so much to so many others. You never know what people are going through. So for that reason alone, be nice to somebody. Um, just say hello. Give somebody a smile. Call and check on um, some family members. Just see how they're doing, how they're faring. You never know. A little call. That might be a surprise to someone. They may be happy. You never know what they're going through. And while you're praying, pray for others. If anyone come across your mind, pray for them. So we have so many um, bereaved families. I have a few scriptures. Psalm 30. I'm sorry. Psalm 23. Isaiah. 66 chapter the 13th verse Isaiah the 41st chapter and the 10th verse Isaiah the 40th chapter and the 31st verse Psalm 46 chapter and the 12th verse and Psalm the 9th chapter and the 9th verse I have some more too um, I just if you are going through bereavement and you need comfort, read some of those scriptures. Take the time to read some. Talk to God. It's good that you have people to talk to, but when people are gone and you're still going through, you need God. Seek God. Seek after Him. Talk to Him. He's right there. Jesus on the main line. Call Him up. Call Him up. Tell Him what you want. Yes, so please pray with me while I pray for you. Please pray for me as well. 
glorify the God. Come to you as humble as I can. I thank you for healing my body, Lord Father God. I thank you because I can hear my voice again. I just love you for that, Lord God. You didn't have to do it, but I'm so glad that you did. Yes, Lord God. I thank you for all my friends, my family, my husband, my children, my parents, Lord Father God, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, my subscribers, my neighbors. Lord Father God, I ask you to just comfort the bereaved families as best as you know how to, Lord Father God. Anyone that's going through, you know what they're going through, Lord Father God. You know the desires of their heart, Lord Father God. You know some people just need peace of mind. Some people dealing with death, Lord Father God. And as soon as they get over one, then another just jump right there. So I'm just asking you for comfort, Lord Father God. I'm asking you for peace, Lord Father God. I'm asking you for a special prayer for my dad and the loss of his sister. You know she was near and dear to his heart, Lord Father God. So please, Lord Father God, be with my dad, Lord Father God. Keep him covered with your precious blood, Lord Father God. Give him peace of mind and comfort him, Lord Father God. He needs you, Lord God. Yes, we all need you, Lord Father God. I love you. I thank you. I praise you. I bless your holy, righteous name. I ask these and all blessings in Jesus' name. I pray and say amen. So thank you for praying with me. Stay safe and have a blessed day. If no one told you they love you today, Sweet we love you, you, and you. But remember, God loves you best.